Imagine jogging on a sweltering summer day, sweat pouring down your face, lungs begging for mercy, and your friend turns to you with the kind of curiosity only exhaustion can summon. Hey, why do we even have seasons? That's not exactly the motivational pep talk you needed at the moment, but it is a question that takes us on one of the most fascinating cosmic journeys. Seasons aren't just about the weather. Behind them lies a grand story of Earth's spin, its not-so-perfect posture, and a rather dramatic accident billions of years ago. Earth's two signature moves. Let's start with the basics. Earth has two main moves, almost like a dance routine it's been practicing for billions of years. The first move is rotation. Earth spins around an imaginary line called the axis, which runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. It's basically Earth twirling on its own little stick. This spin takes about 24 hours and gives us day and night. When your side of the planet is facing the sun, congratulations, you get daylight. When it spins you away, you're plunged into darkness, and suddenly Netflix becomes your best friend. But Earth isn't satisfied with just spinning. It also likes to show off with revolution. This is when Earth takes a grand lap around the sun. One full revolution takes about 365 days, 6 hours, and 9 minutes, which is why we invented leap years. Otherwise, our calendars would be as chaotic as your sock drawer. Rotation explains our days, revolution explains our years, but seasons are born out of something much juicier. Earth's cosmic tilt, Earth's not-so-perfect posture. Billions of years ago, Earth had an unfortunate encounter. A massive celestial object slammed into it, knocking it off balance. Since then, Earth has leaned over at a charming angle of about 23.5 degrees. If Earth were a person, it would look like someone trying to stand straight after three cups of coffee and failing. This tilt is the reason we have seasons. Without it, the entire planet would have the same boring weather all year long. Imagine endless mild spring weather. Sure. That sounds nice for a week, but you'd soon realize you'd miss snowball fights, beach trips, and pumpkin spice lattes. The tilt means that during different times of the year, different parts of the Earth are closer to or farther from the sun's direct rays. One hemisphere gets to bask in the sun's warmth, while the other sulks in the shadows, and six months later, they switch. It's basically a cosmic seesaw, and humanity just happens to be sitting on both ends. How the tilt creates the seasons. When the northern hemisphere leans toward the sun around June, the sunlight hits it more directly. Days get longer, nights get shorter, and suddenly everyone in the north is melting into their ice creams while complaining about how expensive air conditioning is. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, so they're bundling up in scarves and making hot cocoa. Six months later, around December, the roles reverse. Now the Southern Hemisphere enjoys beach weather, while the Northern Hemisphere is buried under layers of snow, questioning every life choice that led them to live somewhere so cold. If you've ever wondered why Australians are having summer barbecues in December, while Americans are making snowmen, this tilt is your answer. Then come March and September, when neither hemisphere is hogging the sun. The planet sits at just the right angle so that both halves get almost equal sunlight. Days and nights balance out, giving us spring and autumn. These transitional seasons are like Earth's coffee break, calm, pleasant, and a much needed pause between the intensity of summer and winter. The sunlight trick. The real secret behind the seasons isn't just the tilt itself, but the way sunlight hits the Earth. When sunlight shines directly overhead, it's concentrated and powerful, heating the land quickly. That's summer. But when sunlight comes in at a slant, the same energy spreads out over a larger area, making it weaker and less effective. That's winter. Think of it like holding a flashlight against a wall. If you shine it straight on, you get a bright circle of light. Tilt the flashlight, and suddenly the light stretches out becomes dimmer, and covers more area. Earth's tilt turns the sun into the universe's flashlight, constantly changing its angle as we orbit around. Rainy season, summer's after party. Just when you think the story of seasons is complete, 
In walks the rainy season, uninvited but always dramatic. Technically, we only have two fundamental seasons, summer and winter, caused by Earth's tilt. But rain adds its own subplot to the tale. During the summer, the sun's heat evaporates enormous amounts of water from oceans, rivers, and lakes. That vapor rises, cools, and condenses into clouds. When those clouds can't hold it in anymore, they burst into glorious rainfall. So the rainy season is basically summer's after party. The sun does all the heating and evaporating, then clouds roll in like DJs dropping the beat, and finally, the rain arrives as confetti. Farmers love it, kids jump in puddles, and adults complain about wet socks. Everyone gets something. The hemisphere switcheroo. One of the quirks of seasons is how they flip depending on where you live. In December, people in the Northern Hemisphere are decorating Christmas trees in freezing weather, while people in South America are sipping cold drinks at the beach. In June, India is sweltering in the monsoon heat, while Australians are bundled up in coats. Earth seems to have designed it this way, just to confuse travelers who can't decide whether to pack swimsuits or snow boots. Why we should thank the seasons? As much as we complain about them, seasons are actually one of the best gifts Earth gives us. Imagine if the weather never changed. No snow, no blossoms, no colorful autumn leaves, no summer vacations. Life would be about as exciting as eating plain oatmeal every day. Seasons give us variety, and that variety keeps us sane. Seasons also make agriculture possible. Different crops grow best in different conditions. Wheat loves winter, rice thrives in the rainy season, and mangoes strut around like the divas of summer. Without seasons, our food supply would collapse, and we'd all be stuck eating the same boring vegetables year-round. On top of that, seasons are the backbone of our cultural traditions. Festivals like Christmas, Diwali, Thanksgiving, and Lunar New Year are tied to seasonal changes. Nature too relies on this cycle. Animals migrate, trees shed leaves, rivers flood with rain, and ecosystems reset themselves. In short, seasons are Earth's way of keeping everything in balance, like a cosmic refresh button. Earth's seasonal mood swings. Think of Earth as that moody roommate who can never make up their mind. In summer, Earth cranks the thermostat to sauna and watches us sweat. In winter, it forgets to pay the heating bill and leaves us shivering. Spring is when Earth gets artsy, painting everything with flowers, while autumn is when it redecorates with crunchy leaves. And no matter what mood Earth is in, we humans are left scrambling, buying sunscreen, layering coats, or carrying umbrellas everywhere we go. Seasons, climate change, and the future. While seasons are part of Earth's natural rhythm, we humans are beginning to tamper with the tune. Climate change is making summers hotter, winters shorter, and rainfall more unpredictable. If Earth is that moody roommate, climate change is like giving them a double espresso. Suddenly everything is more extreme, unpredictable, and a little terrifying. Understanding the importance of seasons reminds us just how delicate this balance is. It's not only about enjoying snowball fights or summer vacations, but about preserving the ecosystems and food cycles that sustain us. And that, my friends, is the story of why we have seasons. If you enjoyed this little cosmic adventure, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, stay curious, stay awesome, See you in the next video.